Thanks for watching this video demo. My name is Libby, and in this video, I'll show you how, as a patient, you can use Accurex Patient Triage, our online consultation tool, to submit a non-urgent administrative request to your GP surgery. You may have navigated to this form from your GP surgery's website or have been sent this form in a text message or email from your practice. Here, I'm showing an example of the form where the practice name and information is on the top left-hand corner of my screen just here. In this video, I'll walk you through how to use this form to contact your practice. We can see that we have three options here to contact your practice. There is an admin query, such as a fit or sick note, a medical issue, or you can seek online advice. In this video demonstration, I'll be showing you how you can submit an admin query to your practice. Again, this is another way of contacting your practice in addition to your current contact methods. Please only use this form if you are already registered as a patient to your practice. Patient triage is approved by the NHS and currently 82% of patients that use this form rate it as easy to use. When submitting the form, you will need to answer a few short questions and your practice will get back to you in their determined time frame, which is specified here at the top in this yellow box. This is a confidential form. If you have any questions on how Accurex manages your submission, please see more information just here. This page is specifically designed for patients for your information. If you'd like to chat with our support team for more information on this or how the form works, please click here to start a chat with our team. Going back to the form, please do not use this form for urgent or emergency requests. Instead, please call 111 or 999 if it is a medical emergency. Also, the forms that are submitted to your practice will only be read during office hours. The forms will not be read on Saturdays and Sundays or bank holidays. The form can be submitted using your computer or your mobile phone or tablet. So let's take a look at how we can submit an admin query here. Once we click on this option, we do need to confirm that we aren't having any of the following urgent symptoms because again, this form is not to be used for any medical emergencies as the request will not be seen by the practice team immediately. Here, I'll click no, I do not have any of these symptoms. Now we can see the different options of admin queries that we can submit. The first is a doctor's letter. We can also submit a fit or sick note, questions about a referral, a repeat prescription, test results, or something else. If you do select the I need help with something else option here, please remember that this still refers to an administrative query for your practice. The form then contains a mix of multiple choice questions and free text responses here. The first question we see at the top is, have you already had a note about this? Next, tell us briefly about your illness or problem. This box is a free text response, so you can go ahead and type your response here. Please include as much information about your illness or medical problem as possible to help your practice. Maybe you have some back pain. The next question is when would you like the note to start? When do you think you can return to work? Lastly, if possible, is there anything your employer could do to help you return sooner?
when you're happy with those answers, go ahead and click continue. And then you'll enter in your own demographics. You can submit a form on behalf of yourself or someone else. Entering in your details correctly on this screen helps the practice match you to your records at your GP surgery. I'll go ahead and enter in my test patient details here. Select your gender. Enter in your postcode. Lastly, we'll ask you to enter in your phone number. A mobile number is preferred, but you can use a landline number if you don't have access to a mobile number. Next, we'll ask if you have access to the phone right now. If you don't have access to the phone right now, or you can't receive an authentication code, you can still continue submitting the form without these steps. I'll just show you what it looks like to complete these steps here, if you do have your phone. I've now received an authentication code to my mobile number provided in a text message, and I'll enter that number in just here. Lastly, you'll be able to confirm your request. You'll just review what you've written here, and you can select how you'd like to be contacted by your practice. You can also choose to receive a confirmation text for this request. Once you're happy, you can click Submit Request to two working days. If you do become unwell or if you need help more urgently, please do consider calling the practice or NHS 111 for advice. Again, if this is a medical emergency, please call 999. Lastly, there is a patient survey, which is an option for giving your feedback on your experience in using the patient triage form. By clicking into this white box, you can tell us about your experience. By giving us your feedback here in this form, this will help us further develop patient triage so that it's easy, as easy as possible for you to fill out this form as a patient. Thanks for watching this video. 